The Champions League quarterfinals are set and we're going to be reacting to these tasty matchups that are happening in April. But before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, join the ABP family. Leave a comment down below what you think are going to happen in these Champions League quarterfinal matchups. And let's get right into it. Let's go. Of course, we got to start. Come on, we have to start with AC Milan. <laughs> Finally, it's been a decade, literally a decade since we reached the, sem uh, the quarterfinals. I'm already saying semifinals oh because God. that's how excited I am. We drew Napoli. I think this is the worst matchup for Napoli in all for honesty. Napoli? For Napoli? I'm 100%. For Napoli? Worst yes. matchup for Napoli? Yeah. Look. Because look, look, I'll, look. Tell you, no, look, look. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. <laughs> we play them regularly. Uh -huh. yeah, this isn't like a, a random team. Uh -huh. We know their style. We know Spalletti. We've come up against Oshiman before. Oshiman. Oh, <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Kavara, he's nothing new to us. But they haven't met Chow. <laughs> this Bro. guy is a revelation for the center back pairing at Milan. We're, we we even switched to three in the back to keep him in. Tamori, Chow, either Kiar or Kalulu. And then we got Mike Manyan back. Like, this is happy days for Milan. Listen. Bro, no, no, no. You listen for a second. <laughs> you listen for Dude, a second. Trust me. Look, Napoli, that's the, one of the worst possible draws for you guys. Like, no. they're first in your league. Where do you, you know, are fifth, fourth? Battling for a Champions, Champions League spot while Napoli are running away with the league. Napoli, this is a field day for Napoli. They're 100% going through against AC Milan. Look, no. congrats, AC Milan. You got to the quarterfinals for the first time in a long time. It's time for your exit. Napoli has a pretty much a free route to the final. They're that good this season, and they can 100% do it. Come on, bro. You can't be They're confident. Good. You no, can't no, no, be confident. No. You can't sit here and be confident that you're going to win this Listen, tie. Listen, I'm not saying Napoli is like bad or any, by any means, but I'm just saying Milan no Napoli. Madrid doesn't know Napoli. Chelsea doesn't know Napoli. Bayern don't know Napoli. City damn for sure doesn't know Napoli. Milan knows Napoli. Even Pioli came out and said it, said bring it on. We want all the smoke. Pep was ducking the smoke. We've been saying this like, bro, it's going to be raps. I'm telling you. Like, I don't understand it's how. It's raps. I don't know where this false confidence is coming from. But, I mean, for me, Napoli are going through 100% in this tie. For me, they're going to the final. They got the, the easy side of the bracket. The easy side. The easy okay. side of the bracket. The other matchup on that side of the bracket, of course, Inter Milan versus Benfica. That This is the mid-off, I guess, mid of the quarterfinal. No. But uh, Benfica is not mid. Like, Benfica No mid. team is really mid in this quarterfinal. Inter, in these quarterfinals. Inter Milan is mid. Inter, Inter, Inter mid. they scraped through. Last 30 seconds of the round of 16 was an absolute Yeah, I mean, like, they scraped through coaster. Porto. Porto could have 100% gone yeah. through in that tie. They deserved it. I think Benfica go through in this game, in this matchup. Look, Inter, they are a decent side, but I think Benfica just look too strong in the Champions League. I don't know what it is. They turn it on, like, João Mario playing out of his mind, he bro. Loves that guy. He's a He's a monster. He loves he's a monster. Like, he's I, good. He's, but... like, he's, he's efficient. He he's box to box like he can do it all. Bruno Silva, I think, deserves way more credit than João Mario right now. Bruno Silva, yeah. Who the fuck? Yeah, Who the he, fuck is clearly, that guy? <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? Clearly, you don't know why Benfica. Nah, like, nah, he's that's that, genuinely not a. Right. That's genuinely not Center a player. Center attacking mid, Bruno Silva. That's genuinely not. You mean Rafa Silva? Rafa Silva. We got to talk about this guy. Yeah, I he's mean, a demon. He's so good. I mean, that goal that he scored in the last round against Club Bruges was nasty. So good. The outside the foot. Inter Milan. I don't think this is a favorable matchup at all. They've been struggling in the even in Serie A, let alone Champions League right now. And Zaghi does not. They can't. I don't know what's going on with them. They were playing really well. They were playing really good football in Serie A in the last few months. But in the beginning of the season, for sure. Recently, yeah. they just haven't looked convincing. Like every time I watch Inter play, they don't look convincing. They look like they're trying to script through a win. Lukaku, the guy can't finish his dinner most of the time anyway. But he did score the only goal. In the matchup against Porto, so he might be crucial. I don't know. It's but we'll have to see. I mean, for me, for me, Benfica go through though. Yeah, hundred percent. Benfica is too good. On the other side of the bracket, though, we got two pretty good matches. We got a rematch from last two seasons: Real Madrid versus Chelsea. Look, this is gonna be bad because Real Madrid just knocked out Liverpool. They're feasting good on English sides. They got Chelsea now, though, and I think to be to be honest, like. If this, if you, if I saw this matchup two months ago, a month ago, even, I'd say Madrid go through comfortably. Mm. But for some reason, I don't know what it is. With James back, Chilwell back playing, and Havertz honestly picking up form in the last few games, like genuinely. And I just think the Dortmund win is a turning point in Chelsea's season. I think this is going to be a very close game, very close match. Mm. I still think Madrid are going to go through. 
But I think it's going to be very close. I would not be surprised to see Chelsea back in the semifinal. Interesting. I think, yeah, I agree that it's going to be closer than people would think. Just because I don't think Madrid is firing on all fronts right now. I think the turning point in Madrid's Champions League run, as of now, has been that Barca game and Copa del Rey. They couldn't hack Barca. And then right after they played Atletico, Atletico got a red card, couldn't hack Atleti, tied 1-1. Atletico scored to tie the game. Ten men down, like ten men down. They were playing with one Donny on the field. <laughs> yeah, ten. okay. <laughs> one man down, ten men. Like, I don't know what's going on with Madrid. There's even rumors that Ancelotti is going to be walking if he doesn't get any trophies. So it's either do or die for them, and it's not looking good. The last Liverpool performance at the Bernabeu. Granted, it yeah. was a it was a goalkeeper masterclass, but I mean they were five two up. I wouldn't read too much into that. I would, to be fair. Nah, nah, they, nah. they didn't Don't look convincing. It. Even the way they were playing, they didn't look really, really convincing. And and I they think, still won the game. So <laughs> okay, but look, I'm all I'm saying is Madrid is not firing on all fronts. Either, yeah, but so. you also can't write off Madrid. We know how they are in the Champions League. So anything can happen this matchup. The other matchup on this side of the bracket, though, pro- the best one of the quarterfinals. Two mm. top dogs, two favorites. Top dogs. Two top dogs. Man City, a top dog in Champions League of course, now? No, I mean, come on, come on. Most people think. Come on, man. <clears throat> this is going to be an easy cakewalk for Bayern Munich. <laughs> I'm calling this right <laughs> now. Listen, they've, no, got no, no, so much, they've got so much firepower. <laughs> Leroy Sané. Leroy Sané. Well, hold on. Let me answer. <laughs> Leroy Sané, the player who's never been past the quarterfinals. All right, keep going. Leroy Sané. Uh-huh. Serge Gnabry. Serge Gnabry. Mid. Thomas Muller. Thomas Muller. Geezer. This guy is not serious, bro. I'm, I'm serious. serious right now. I, you know what I said the last time we did a Champions League video when we covered Bayern? I said, look, Bayern are a good side. But they're not one of the favorites. If I were to put my money on a team, it would definitely not be Bayern. Bayern are not winning the Champions League this season. I'm telling you that right now. They obliterated PSG with Chupo Moting. And I know for Chupo Moting. And I knew for a fact PSG weren't gonna win that tie. Like PSG were not PSG were not gonna beat Bayern, bro. Roll the tape. He said PSG won one of those games. No, I I didn't. No, I didn't. What did you say? Honestly, I think it's gonna be like a three one, three one Bayern. Ooh, okay. I also said that Bayern were not gonna win the Champions League because I know for a fact they're not gonna win the Champions League. They're not good enough. They're fragile. We're gonna we're gonna put too many packs. But there's no evidence of being fragile. Where's the fragility in that Bayern defense? Bro, in that Bayern defense. Bro, in the Bundesliga, they should be walking it. They should be walking Bundesliga. They're in a title race. Dortmund is good. We're, we can't just deny Dorman being good. They just got they just lo- got knocked out by Chelsea. Chelsea, who are what, sitting what, like mid, ta- mid table in the league, one zero mid table mid table. Chelsea knocked out Dortmund, and they're in a title race with Bayern be, Munich. Let it be known, the rest were very fraudulent during that Chelsea game. Look, well, so. I'm not I'm not here to talk about that. I know for look, Bayern are a decent side, but I'm very confident going to this. It's obvi- okay, ob- obviously, like I would have rather drew AC Milan, Inter Milan, <laughs> Benfica. But look, Bayern, that's fine. Give us Bayern. You can't handle Holland. Five goals. Five. Wait, Holland, wait, Holland, wait, Holland, wait, wait. Holland against Bundesliga sides. Wait, wait. Holland, Holland against Bundesliga. He knows these teams. Five goals against Leipzig. Five. Matching a Champions League record with wait, Messi. Wait, 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 wait. Five goals against Leipzig. Has he, has he been able to beat Bayern ever in his career? Bro, he was playing no. for Dortmund. He was playing no. with Dortmund. He was playing with Dortmund. No. That, that I don't care. No. Look at his, his track look record at his goal, against Bayern. Look at his goal record. Abysmal. Look at his goal record Abysmal. against Bayern. Look at KDB's record against Bayern. Insanity. Insanity with Wolfsburg. KDB insanity. is a geezer. There's no denying it. KDB has been fraudulent this season. <laughs> fraudulent? Geezer. 12 assists. 12 assists in the Premier League. He's geezer. been bossing. He's still the best midfielder in the world. There's not a single player on that Bayern Munich team that can stop the Holland KDB duo. Rian Mahrez on the right. Kimmich. Phil Foden getting back into form. Alfonso Jack Grealish Davies. in the best form of his Man City career. Look, I'm sorry, Bayern Munich. Their defense <laughs> is not good enough. Delict, Upa Makano, these guys are rash center backs. They're not going to be able to handle it. Davies, not, he's a more attacking fullback. Cancelo, we're coming for your dome. Cancelo. Joao Cancelo, yeah, exactly. we're coming for your dome. Exactly. Pep, Pep, Cancelo's Pep is, Pep is ego. His, Pep's ego is too big to lose to Cancelo. <laughs> There's no way Pep is going to allow himself to lose to Joao Cancelo in this matchup. That's how confident. I'm confident. Look, say what you, you want to say. You confident all you want because uh-huh. we know you pay the refs. We saw, the, we we saw the, those games. We saw those games. Trust me. It's okay, the, though. We pay the refs. Yeah, it's going to be an uphill battle UEFA, for Bayern. UEFA, for sure. who, hate, who openly hate Manchester City, oh gives Manchester this. City Where? fraudulent refs. Where? Yeah, that makes sense. Come on, man. That like, makes this sense. This is getting disgusting. That makes sense. This is getting disgusting. Like, All right, let's just run through the score predictions really quickly. The first leg, let's go. All right, first leg. Benfica versus Inter. Benfica are home. I'm going 2-0 mm. to Benfica. Okay, I'm going to go 1-0 Benfica. Manchester City versus Bayern at the Etihad. I'm going to go... Oh, look at him. 
He's joking. All that talk. I'm now. going 2 1 to Manchester City. 1 0 Man City. I'll give you a win. I'll give you a win. AC Milan versus Napoli. At the Sun Zero. At the Sun Zero. I'm going 1 0 to Napoli. <laughs> That's so dumb. It's such an easy prediction. It's going to be 2 1 Milan. Last game Real Madrid versus Chelsea at the Bernabeu. I think it'll be 2 1 Madrid. I'm going 1 1 draw. All right, there you guys have it. That's our reaction to the quarterfinal matchups in the Champions League. Make sure you guys drop a thumbs up. Subscribe. I can't stress it enough. Subscribe. We're on the road to 1K. Get in the comments. Tell us what you think is going to happen in these Champions League knockout stages. And we'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace.